Forecast with forecaster Jennifer Perez, only on Fox 47 News at 10. So will people head off to work tomorrow? Should they be packing the umbrella with them or are they in the clear? No, you will certainly need your umbrella, especially tomorrow afternoon. We will be seeing some widespread showers and some storms move through the area. But after tomorrow, we're in for some cooler, drier weather. So hold on, we'll get there. Have a look at our satellite and radar loop. A lot of scattered showers across the region. A lot of activity happening, especially over Wisconsin, parts of Illinois. There's a system that's moving from Iowa and into Minnesota. And that's where you see all the showers and the band of cloud cover associated with that. Now we will be seeing that rain activity for tomorrow. And we could certainly still see some uh, chance of scattered showers overnight for today. Low temperatures today right around the mid to lower 60s for us and high temperatures have topped off in the low to mid 80s for us. 84 for high in Lansing. A little bit cooler in Mason as well as Charlotte. They were at 80 today. I'm going to cross the region. We're still in the lower 70s, upper 60s, cooler further west of a 67 in Eau Claire, 62 in Ashland. They were dealing with a lot more cloud cover and showers today than we were. Now we'll eventually get the cooler air for us, and that'll work into our area starting on Thursday and lasting for Thursday and Friday. Looking at our national satellite and radar loop, you can see that clear band of showers and cloud cover associated with that system that's moving into Minnesota. We will eventually see that uh, part of the showers and storms move into the area for tomorrow afternoon. So let's break it down for you. Tonight we keep the cloud cover and we'll continue to see the scattered showers overnight. But tomorrow morning we'll start off with cloud cover, a little bit drier for us to start off the day. Now that system does stay west of us as it continues to move north, but we will see the cold front move through our area for tomorrow afternoon. It'll sweep from the west all the way through the east tomorrow afternoon. It'll trigger some scattered showers and some storms tomorrow afternoon. Now some storms could be stronger than others. It all depends on how much daytime heating we'll be, we will be seeing with some sunshine here and there. So some storms could be very, uh, we could see some strong winds as well as some light and uh, small hail, a lot of downpours of rain for us tomorrow afternoon. Now after that front moves through the area, we'll start to clear out as far as the rain is concerned. We'll keep the cloud cover though. That'll stick around for us through most of Thursday and into Thursday morning. We will start off with some of that cloud cover, but then we'll break out into some sunshine for Thursday afternoon and clearing out for Friday as well. Tonight though, temperatures still on the warmer side, right around the upper 60s overnight. And then tomorrow morning we'll start off right around the low 70s. High temperatures will be topping off in the low to mid 80s for us. Thursday morning will be a little bit cooler, right around 60 to start off the day. High temperatures though will be cooler, right around the low 70s for us to top off on Thursday. So the trend looks like Thursday and Friday will be cooler as temperatures will be right around around the 70 degree mark, 74, 78 for Friday for tonight. Expect some scattered showers here and there with a low of about 68 and winds out of the south, southeast about three to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, high of 81 and scattered showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. A look at Thursday. Thursday looks breezy. Could see a little bit of rain in the morning, but we'll dry out. We'll stay dry through most of Sunday. We'll get that sunshine back too. Yeah, it looks like we have a nice stretch of weather once we get past this little hump of the rain. Yes. Jennifer, thank you.